Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James and in this video I want to go over a poll that I put up a couple days ago. There's been a few more hits on it probably since I grabbed this screenshot, but the screenshot does have 69 comments. But it was a poll where I asked which potential The Walking Dead spinoff would you most want to see? And I added The Fall of Atlanta, The Story of the Tank Soldier, Morgan and Rick in The Ones Who Live Season 2, Primrose, a virus origin story, Rise of the Saviors, of course, uh, early days of Negan, and anything said in another country, examples like China, UK, Russia, South America. My guess would have been that you guys would have picked something from the early days because that's a big interest. I think it's a big love for many fans, something that we feel we didn't get enough of, right? Some of the early days and a lot of things that people request and say they want to see more of. So out of the five, four of them were pre-stories, early stories, the fall of Atlanta back when the virus started. Primrose, a virus origin story. They could maybe, you know, not even have to shoot anything in France or they could shoot like at an airport saying that it's France. You know, um, Primrose team getting on a plane heading toward Toledo and then boom, they're in Ohio and the rest of the story can take place there. Then we have Rise of the Saviors, early Negan. It could be, you know, Simon be involved, the Croat, um, Dwight would be there, Sherry. And the set in another country. We've seen Mexico. We've heard a little bit about Canada. So I was thinking further down past Mexico, South America, or totally across one of the oceans. China, Japan, or UK, Russia, Africa. Someone in the comments mentioned Australia. Pretty much anywhere other than the US. But the results were last place. We got Rise of the Saviors, the Negan story. In fourth place, we got set in another country, which I thought might be a little bit higher. But I definitely thought one of the third and second places would be in the number one spot. Either a virus origin story or the fall of Atlanta would be ahead of a future story. There's only one future story ongoing. Let's just keep it going. Let's don't go backwards. Let's just keep it going forward. There's only one of those. The Morgan Rick in The Ones Who Live Season 2. And it's the winner. As far as as of the screen capture, it was almost 3,000 people who cast their votes. And that's a pretty good big chunk of fans that voted. So I think that's a pretty good chunk of fans to get a what do you think about this kind of uh, vibe for what's going on. And to my surprise, it's a future story, not a past story. So given that, let's talk about that Um future story, possible story. So I'll start by saying, yes, Lenny James, he said, I don't want to play Morgan anymore. I'm finished with that character. But he also said, but if there's a good enough script, you know, maybe. So there's a, I'm not going to, but maybe. And we heard Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrero also say they play Rick and Michonne countless times, countless times. Both of them said, this is the final story of our character. This fulfills uh, the story we needed to tell, the end of the characters, you know, it made it sound like they're not coming back. But they also said a few things here and there that made you think, but, you know, if it's a good story or if the ratings are good for the show, first season or, you know, they said some things that made you think maybe, maybe they will. Gimple has said some stuff like, you know, we don't know yet. Let's just see how this does and, you know, where the actors are. Uh, and schedules and uh, the story goes let's just go with it you know and see what happens well they've got good ratings and as of this poll it sure does seem like a lot of people want to see that story continue even if it's got Morgan in it as far as you know the way I see if it was a ones who live season two with Morgan that a lot of it would be Morgan and maybe Mo or just Morgan the Rick and him meeting would be more of a short little piece and Rick wouldn't be in it as much. But that's just one theory. You know, Morgan comes in and they're at Commonwealth, I think. And I think Rick and Michonne stay at Commonwealth. A lot of people think they landed at Alexandria and that's where Judith was. Her and RJ are in school at Commonwealth. They have friends and stuff there at Commonwealth. I don't think Rick and Michonne would come back, not knowing about Commonwealth, of course, either one of them, but finding out about it, finding that's where Judith and RJ are, and 
oh, I'm going to rip you out of school and away from your friends because we want to go back to Alexandria. I I think Rick and Michonne would stay in Commonwealth and let Judith and RJ continue to stay in school and stay around their friends. So if Morgan comes with Mo, it is possible that, you know, Rick wants to stay with his family. And Morgan sees that and is like, wow, you've had a pretty crazy ride, dude, after Morgan gets filled in with all the details. And Rick, of course, knowing Morgan's been through a crazy ride as well, but Morgan would know if he had to go you know, take care of something for Rick or instead of Rick going, Morgan says, I'll go and they follow his adventure. He could leave Mo with Judith, you know, at school saying Mo is very safe at Commonwealth. She's going to school. She's got friend like Judith, Rick and Michonne's there to take care of her. I'll go handle this for you, Rick. But there's also the thing about you know, I think there could be a The Ones Who Love Season 2. That's why I've talked about it in some videos and, and ask it in this poll this way and such. But I also have a little bit of, um, let me step back a little bit, because for one thing, The Ones Who Live, I think it's Michonne and Rick's thing. You know, that's that's their thing, The Ones Who Live. And I think that could be a self-contained story. There's not a Season 2. There's not any other parts. The Ones Who Live are Rick and Michonne and everyone that's around them and has come before and died and all that kind of stuff that they preached about the ones who live. But that's their thing. If you had a, the ones who live season two and it was mostly about Morgan or had Morgan in it, I'm just saying that I think it's possible that we could get something from Morgan. It could still have Rick in it, but it be titled something else. It could be a different series like Daryl and Carol have theirs. Negan and Maggie have theirs. Rick and Michonne had theirs. Morgan could have one as well leading to it could still have Rick in it and still be some type of adventure. But there's a lot of things floating around um, different articles, different videos. I haven't watched a lot of videos, but I've read several articles that says on one hand, they're trying to present a lot of facts that says, I mean, season two, it's all but confirmed. You're right. And I totally don't think it's all but confirmed at all. And then there's some that's like, It'll never happen. That was one season. Here's all the reasons and clues and facts that point to it's only one season. There will not be a season two. And as I stated earlier, I can see both of those, you know, the facts against it, the facts for it. There's little things like Denai Greer, for an example, saying at the end of shooting final scene of the ones who live talking to the crew, something about I didn't get to know you, but you know, we'll figure it out on the next one. Is that just a figure of speech? Like, you know, we're all in the industry. We'll probably be working together somehow, some way in the future on something. Or did she mean there's going to be a season two and we'll figure it out on that one. So however they do it, however it works out, it's probably going to be a little while before we know anything at all. As of right now, we're waiting on the Daryl Dixon Season 2 trailer. That should be dropping pretty quick, or at least some promos for Daryl Dixon Season 2, hopefully. I think since the end of The Ones Who Live, Rick's story kind of seemingly coming to an end, a lot of people have just moved on. They might still enjoy The Walking Dead or like The Walking Dead or watch something that comes in the future, but as of right now, they're watching other stuff. People aren't searching as much for The Walking Dead. They're definitely not viewing and commenting on the channel as much. That could be my fault because I just suck. But of course, that's why I've kind of ventured off and, and started reviewing some other shows and stuff. So you can tell me your theories about what you think The Ones Who Love Season 2 might be if it happens or another series that could happen that could still have Rick in it. And you can also definitely tell me some shows that you guys have been watching because I am reviewing some other stuff. I'm going to finish up some From videos I've got a Silo Season 1 video coming, but I was definitely expecting one of the past ideas as far as the poll goes to uh, be the winner. But nope, it's one of the ongoing stories. Let's keep this story going. And that's exciting, too, in its own way, as far as knowing that. So, hey, you guys let me know what you think about it all, of course, down in the comments below. And you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff.